Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dauntless video. My name's Rev, and right now we are on or hot on the heels on a Scorched Stone Hellion on heroic difficulty. And off cam, we took a moment to uh, upgrade our Onus of Boreas to plus nine. And that was something that I was hoping to get to plus ten, but we're missing some of the uh the arc stone and and orbs required we can go back for that at a later later date i'm gonna be running off to the right here and just trying to scope out where the hellion is not quite sure yet but typically once you peek this you'll be able to know exactly where it is it is front and center and no worries there i'm actually gonna preemptively pop pots here just so we can uh Try and beat it in a timely manner. Let me get my repeating elements going. Get a little bit of sword charge. And then get ready to... I'm listening for the audio cue on that attack. Whilst also... Um, rolling at the height of the roll. Gonna take a little bit of damage there. I have some bulwark tonics to absorb the hit. Pop in my overdrive for additional damage. Hopefully get that uh, frost proc a little bit faster. Get the molten so I don't burn alive. It's behind me. Audio cues are super important. I just realized we don't have music. Gonna be focusing on this KO. Ow, my body. Getting that KO, and then I'm gonna just try and get whatever damage in I can on this leg kicking around. Because that is the leg I've been focusing on. Back on the head for a little bit, just because it's presented to me. Might get the break. I, uh, my plan was to just dash all the way to the other side while picking up my Molten. Uh, it did not work as planned. I thought it would be cool, but turns out I'm not very cool at all. Unlucky. Never lucky. Repeating elements a little bit on that uh, leg. When it is in rage, it's going to do three tail hops. There's also aether form, aether form and rage form. Now I'm on the wrong leg, but that's okay. Softening up both legs are, you know, totally, totally fine. I have another KO that's coming up. I'm going to be able to probably just get all these breaks and end the fight. Almost immediately. A good way for the sword to get a lot of additional stagger damage is to let the, the sprites load up and then do something like that. You can get the, you can get the crit uh attack with reactive hilt it's a uh good way to build up a a very large hit 100 crit and i believe it's uh 100 extra damage which is really nice I'm gonna get this i'm just gonna overdrive here and get whatever damage i can on the tail avoid the enraged nova three hops here the leg I keep getting body blocked by Hellion to on my dashes which is unfortunate I still need to cut the tail and I still need to break this leg now that's exactly why you don't want to be underneath the Hellion dang it it's really close to dead but it's also Come on, cut the tail. There we go, nice. It's gotta be like a couple hits from death. Yep, nice. So I'm hoping that we get a little lucky and get uh, some of the Hellstone shards, but that Scorchstone Hellion on Heroic. 
Not much of a threat now that we have molten and upgraded fire gear. Significantly uh, better off. Come on. Nope. Not this time. Shucks. Deal 2 million damage to Behemoths with any sword. We almost got that. That's good. Now that we're back, I'm going to take a peek at what we need to upgrade the... Um, the Terra Axe that I've been wanting to, to upgrade. The, the, the Scarn Axe. Because that's really the only element that we're going to need out of... Uh, to upgrade. And so we just need Dire Arcanite, it seems. And that'll be at plus 7... At plus seven, that should be fine. So maybe we'll throw in a little bit of a dire patrol here. Just to see what we get. And, uh, you know, potentially, if we get like Hellion, or if we're really fortunate, we can get like Valamir would be great. Hellion would be great. And uh, really just anything that we can use um, in the in the future hunts that we, we're not 100% taking on yet. But um, upgrading and keeping your, your weapons up to snuff of every element, regardless of which whichever weapon it is, it doesn't matter. You want to get like all the elements up to a decent point, you know, plus eight, plus nine, plus ten would be great. Um, and that's going to keep it so your, your gameplay is going to be way more fluid. And so going back and doing this now is like the prime time because the quests are really um, nice. We got Rage Tail. This is going to be a cakewalk. We will uh, throw on Rage Hunter and we'll throw on, we'll throw on some Sharpened. I just want to try and get as many breaks as possible. We could get a Rage Soul Shard. That would be great for upgrading our armor and weapons to plus 10. If we were to, um, I need to eventually get a neutral weapon upgraded so we can unlock all the uh, additional lanterns that are, uh, we have still yet to, uh, to go back and get. I don't, I don't, um, condone waiting this long to get a neutral weapon upgraded uh, because those lanterns are very powerful and they're also very useful for particular behemoths in 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 most cases like uh for example the pangar lantern is very strong against hellion because it helps get the um frost procs you'll get way more frost um slows on the behemoth with the pangar lantern and that, you know, this, the more you do that, the more you're going to be able to get more uh, damage time on the legs. So we fought Rage Tail quite a bit. Um, we know that it's going to stay in Rage longer. And on the heroic difficulty, it also makes us bleed with its tail attacks. We're going to not worry about that too much because we're on a Dire. This should be a relatively quick hunt. And hopefully this... Um, this playthrough has helped you because I know Rage Tail is one of those behemoths that style boot. Um, hopefully it's helped you with uh, Rage Tail because I know it's a behemoth that is always kind of like a threat. There are a handful of behemoths that are just always have the looming threat of losing. And Rage Tail is definitely one of them with the Shockwaves because the Shockwaves deal a lot of damage, especially on Heroic Plus. We're just going to vacate the area. I'm going to pop all my stuff once um, Rage Tail starts walking towards me. This will cause the 360 spin. I highly recommend learning uh, how to solo behemoths with your weapon of to choice um there's a nice mixture that needs to be done you know playing with parties is totally totally um necessary in in my opinion it will make you a better player a in the same way that playing solo will actually make you a better player and and the reasoning behind this is you learn at an, you know, it's like going to a tutor, right? Like if you have a one-on-one -on -one tutor and then you go and take the test, right? Like you go to school and you take the test. Um, that's that's kind of the the logic, right? Uh, you, your solos are your tutor sessions. You know, you learn in a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one environment and 
and uh learn the attacks and you know reap the rewards of um of that feeling of uh, accomplishment and then you go and take the test take it into other games start you know socializing and and um interacting with the community and uh, it just makes for a really fun time i i really enjoy uh you know i've put in a lot of time soloing and i do a lot of solos in like trials and and other stuff but i i enjoy i have the most fun when i'm playing uh with the community and playing with my friends so um i highly recommend doing both uh we did get three additional dolorex stone that might assist us in getting to plus eight instead of plus seven we'll see where we're at i'm probably gonna need more if i had to guess very very simple uh fight once you get a little bit more gear and uh, some overpower and rage hunter because rage hunter is obviously very good i didn't think we got a rage soul shard which is unfortunate i'll have to double check i wasn't looking too hard but we're gonna upgrade our axe we're just getting situated for this quest line and um yeah we need a terra i think this is what we'll what we'll spend the time to do is uh we'll do another dire and we'll do a terra uh pat and we'll get the scarn's judgment and then we're good and then we're good for this quest i could probably bang out um all four of those hunts in the next episode that's that's my thinking so here's what we'll do we'll do a terror patrol unfortunately we don't have a shock weapon that's really up to the par luckily Karabak is not very um it's not like a necessity like you could definitely take a hellion weapon to uh razor wing and take care of it no problem but um it's just gonna be a a quick quick terror patrol and we'll see what we get hopefully it's a caraback i'm hoping for caraback because i really 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 want to craft those boots um that would be a huge come up and um i highly recommend crafting them i talk about them all the time hopefully you've crafted them by now but hey we'll uh we'll see who we get unfortunately um we were just unlucky and got scarn should be that was strange. It said immune, but uh, my molten came out regardless. That was kind of funny. Now, as the sword, when I, if I'm playing a bladed weapon, I typically will want to just kind of stay on the tail. The, sta the tail is um, easier. It's probably the easiest armored uh, piece to hit. And if you break it... Oh, gonna try and get this interrupt there we go i'm just gonna take my own advice and keep going for this tail set scarn on fire nice i'm gonna get hit by that because i didn't have stamina unfortunately you can't really get like ko's or anything going for the tail we just got it so maybe we'll go for the face now it's available you know, cut Skarn's tail, and now that the head's wide open, we should be able to just wail on the face a little bit. I'm gonna pop my overdrive. Probably gonna get a break here. Yep. A lot of overpower windows. Another one has presented itself. Overdrive closer. Keeping up with the behemoth with overdrive is a great way to maintain your uptime on the sword oh. I, I didn't mean to do that but it was just kind of funny that it happened and notice how i'm i'm always maintaining my uh my lantern's attack speed up this is a great way to um keep your your allies like especially if you're all if you're getting a ton of you know maybe you're over geared but if you're getting a ton of like overpower windows just stack on your friends with the with the attack speed you'll get way more damage out of uh out of everything so the uh the strike lantern's really good i uh i say that a lot i sing its praises quite a bit and uh i do think that it's uh very underused but 
the other lanterns are still very good and worth crafting. I would by no means say that any one lantern is the best. I change my lanterns quite quite frequently. And we we haven't seen a lantern in quite some time, like a new lantern in quite some time. I think uh I don't think we can upgrade yet. I think we need to do one more dire patrol. So we'll do that. All right. Um but we haven't seen any new lanterns that do anything new since I believe Koshai was the last one and that's kind of a shame because the lantern's an extra button to press which is nice um it, and it feels a little bit more active like proactive and you can do a lot of cool stuff but at the same time um I don't know what you would could add to to the lanterns to to make them as cool as as they are um, I'd probably like to see maybe like a Valamir lantern. I don't know. Maybe like a, Hmm. I don't know what you would do. I would be cool if you could like beam around, but I, I feel like that's too similar to Koshai. So I don't know. Well, we have a bounty to complete. Nice. I'm actually hoping that we get Valamir because I'm, I'm very low on the parts and we're going to need to upgrade Dreadfrost Boreas. All right. Well, it's a fast hunt at least. We're playing into our element, our uh, our best element, which is very nice. We're still rocking two Hellion and two Nasher. That's kind of our go-to on Dire Patrols um, to counteract that we're that we are even if we are going up against a nice Behemoth, we're not going to take too much damage, too much additional damage, I should say. I'm gonna run off to the right here. I like running off to the right uh, if I don't see it front and front and center here. This is like, ideally, the behemoth spawns like right over that that side of the rock, and then you don't really need to go anywhere. Worst case scenario, it spawns all the way over on the far left, and so that's kind of the downfall of going over here to the right. But other than that, um, it's pretty much a straight shot. Now sometimes it's hard to see the aether vent on this one, so I'll actually uh, peek this. And so Boris should be right there. Yeah, there's not a lot of spawn points on this map. There's a uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so it's more like I think five is kind of like the the norm. I'm gonna take the time to actually grab these because this is bulwark tonics. Bulwark tonics galore. All right, calling in minions. No worries. Now the 360 tailspin it used to have a hitbox on the tail, but they actually removed it. Not quite sure why, but the only move or the only part of that move that will deal damage to you is when Boreas lands. And so um, it's very deceptive because it was a move that very much so like this move. I just got hit by the tail. All you need to roll is the the jump. Hopefully that helps. That's something that I probably should have mentioned a long, long time ago. Um, not a lot of attacks have nuances like that because this was an attack that was like specifically changed. All right, ice armor's up. That's totally fine. The arm, um, the fire proc is actually assisting at breaking it while it is still damage reduced. Boreas is enraged. That's good. Granted, we break the armor, making sure it's not going to catapult on top of me. I rolled way too early. That's okay, though. We're still healthy. Probably heal up here. There we go. We have uh, three more charges of the sprites, so we'll break the or try to break the armor at least. It really helps if you can get the bombers to explode on Boreas because it does deal that additional damage, but this Boreas in particular just doesn't really like sitting still, which is fine. Doesn't like attacking me means I'm not taking damage and I can just solo the uh, the minions while it's running around. Not I'm not fussed, right? Don't need to dodge the tail and I got tapped by the tail afterwards after it landed. Kind of annoying. It didn't even really deal any damage to me. More of an inconvenience, if anything. All right, so the KO got absorbed there by the the horn break, which is unfortunate. We'll go for the tail if we can. Constantly out of stamina in this fight. 
We do have stamina tonics. I'm just not using them. All right, cut the tail right before the ice armor went up. Might be able to just kind of kill Boreas outright here. Not quite sure. There's no minions available. I know that it's not going to run because it is currently in rage. But I have nothing really better to do until it summons minions. There we go. Notice how I'm using uh, Boreas kind of as a stopper sometimes. There we go. Ice armor's off. Did we break this leg? No, we didn't. We haven't even done too much damage to it. We might be able to get it. Nope. Unlucky, but it was a quick hunt, which is nice. Boreas can be um, really annoying. But it can also go really, really fast, especially as you get more upgrades into your your gear. Got a bounty token, Dolark Stone. Nothing of note, unfortunately. Just another uh, Dire Patrol. And I highly recommend. I've I've already recommended this several times, but I'm gonna say it again. You want to you want to patrol. Don't don't pursue on you know unless you're going for specific things. There are there's a time and place to pursue, but for the most part, you're you can't go wrong with just doing uh patrols, which is what I would recommend that you do. Getting that gear is more mastery, getting that gear is more um and with more mastery comes more cells. If you're not having the best luck. We're at plus eight. Let's confirm it maybe plus nine is possible. It is. So we can we only need to do one more dire patrol for plus nine, and that would be oh never mind. I'm I'm blind. Uh, we'd need more heroic arcanite. So we'll leave it at plus eight and we'll just call uh we'll say that we're ready for uh Shockjaw Nezaga. With Shockjaw Nezaga, because it's a shock behemoth, we're gonna be dealing uh, we'll be sitting at five hundred power, which is gonna be uh I believe that's what a plus ten weapon would be. So you gain like two levels. So a plus eight weapon goes to plus ten when when gaining that eighty power from uh, elemental affinity, which is great. But uh, we'll just keep the razor on and we'll kick off the next video with Frostback Pangar, Razor Wing Karabak, and uh, well, we might actually do all four in the next because we're ready. We're more more than ready. So thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to support me and the channel, you can use creator code REVIRAD in the Dauntless in-game store and subscribe to the channel. That'd be uh, absolutely phenomenal. Thank you guys so much for the support that you give me. Um, if you want to check out the stream, that'll be in the description down below. And um, that'll do it. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you on the Shattered Isles.